Oh, how you going, mate? I'm the Dusty Bogan. So um, I loved your speech today. Um, so what? what is this? What are we doing today? We're... Now, this was a, a rally in support of the South African farmers who are um, being persecuted uh, by, um, by black Africans who haven't really done anything in their life apart from that they want the farms that these men have built up and these, these families have built up over generations. So... Uh, and, and it's, it's, they're slaughtering them. Uh, anyone, uh, as I said earlier, anyone who would boil a child in a bathtub in front of their parents is subhuman. No human should ever have to do that, and uh, it's a disaster. It's the start of a genocide, and it's a state-supported genocide. So uh, I really support Peter Dutton's move um, to bring them back to us, bring them into Australia. We've seen other South Africans who've come here, they're very industrious, They're, they have Christian values, they're the sort of people we want in the country. Um, so rather than uh, leaving them there to be slaughtered, uh, expedite their visas and get them in here. Yeah, great. And so like my thought, I was thinking if we were living back in World War II times and we were hearing jo uh, you know, Stalin or Adolf Hitler saying crap like that, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing... In, we're seeing politicians in South Africa saying things it's out of control like we're we're at a time in history we're seeing it and Peter Dutton stood up and he's saying no this is ridiculous this is absolutely control. absolutely absolutely right uh, governments like the Nazi government the Nazi regime that advocated the slaughter of the Jews um, you know it's abhorrent to us now Stalin killed between 40 and 70 million very hard to get the right number but they're all his own people and here we are seeing these people who, by the way, have been there since 1611. The Huguenots came into the, into the Cape area. There were no African tribes there, by the way. Yep. Um, and now they're off their land that generation after generation they've built up and they've fed these same people who are now slaughtering them are now being slaughtered for doing exactly that. Yep. And the irony of the whole thing is that uh, after these people take over the land, It'll go to rack and ruin, just like it did after the Rhodesian experiment. And these people will be starving, and then they'll be asking uh, our foreign affairs people to give them money in, uh, in handouts, which will actually, it will definitely happen. As If we've seen any, anything, we've seen how Julie Bishop is happy to give away your money uh, for, for you know, whatever cause she decides is right. And this is not a good cause to be giving money away to, but that's what's going to happen. And you yourself, you said you, you're a farmer. You've... Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fifth generation on sheep and cattle properties. Um, you know, my, it's very hard to make money in the bush. You work your ass off and, uh, uh, you know, there's not a lot of reward, unfortunately. So, and especially in a, in a country like Australia that has a pretty ordinary rainfall. So, yeah, I, I, that's where I came from. And there are no easy days on a cattle place or a sheep place. You're before daylight till after dark every day of your life. Uh, and that's what these people have been doing. And for that, they're now being slaughtered and not just slaughtered, but tortured and raped and uh, children being slaughtered. And that's that's the most inhumane thing I've ever heard. Yeah. And so you're in politics, that's right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a senator, Queensland senator. OK, great. Awesome. So it's great to have your support and, you know, to stand up and support South Africans and... They are our mates, you know what I mean? I, I'm a Christian. I sort of thought about it myself and I thought, you know, we, we've been such a generous nation letting people in and then it's like finally people who are... Like, I have South African family. Some of our family migrated here. Some went to South Africa. They are our family. And, uh, you know, I think of the Apostle Paul. He, he has said on his heart, I have a heart for my own people, the Jews. Mm -hmm. Of course, the Christian message is to go to all nations, right? Like, we're... We have a heart, we care for Africans, right? But we also should have a heart for our own people, Absolutely. right? Like, there's nothing wrong or racist with having a heart for your own people, hey? Absolutely. No, I couldn't agree more. We need to get these people over here as quickly as we can. They'll become good settlers uh, with the same values as we have. So uh, instead of some of the people we've been bringing over here who uh, are a burden on our welfare system, who, uh, who then uh, destroy, try to destroy our uh, fabric of society. Uh, I'd, I'd rather see these sort of people coming over who are genuinely in need, in desperate need now. So um, I'll definitely be supporting Peter in his uh, efforts to get him over here as quick as we can. And, and we see, like, in Europe, they just let the, they open the floodgates for immigration, and then here we see our own mates 
who we're like, hang on a minute, these people share the same values, and it's like, you know, are we gonna do the same thing? Are we gonna be? Are we gonna be consistent? Like, there has to be consistency, right? Well, hey, look, thanks so much for your time, and I really liked your uh, speech. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dustin. Cheers. Thank you.